Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm Speeder. Okay, uh, so a lens fell out of my glasses at some point when I wasn't wearing them. Sorry, fidgeting. Um, and yeah, this works. And basically, uh, we have to find it and then take it back to the eye doctor. So, spares for me. Anyways, uh, so, I realized something. Um, this video won't be posted until after the other ones that I'm going to be referring to, but I was just looking through a calendar and I realized that I got the date wrong for when uh, the next video will come out. It's not May 1st, it's April 30th. Because no, the Friday is not the 24th, it's the 23rd. <laughs> yeah, so it'll come out on April 30th. But that's already been posted by this point. At least it should have been. <coughs> uh, which I believe is the Kendra and Seth Sorensen book talk. Uh, but today, if you have not seen the title of today's video, I will be doing a book talk on a different character from Wheel of Time, and that is Perrin Ibera, um, who honestly is my favorite character in Wheel of Time. Uh, I like him a lot more than Rand. Um, uh, besides maybe Moriane, but she's Moriane. Uh, this video will contain spoilers uh, for the first six books of Wheel of Time. I haven't finished the sixth one yet, uh, but I will soon, hopefully. So, uh, I don't really know exactly where I am in what specific chapter or anything I am in Wheel of Time, book six, but uh, just assume that there will be spoilers for the entire first six books, even though I don't know everything from the rest of the sixth book. All right, or anything else from the series, because I haven't read it. Anyways, uh, I gotta do this more quickly because I have to, it's getting kind of late. I have to get ready for bed. Um, but yeah, so Perrin, he has kind of um, he has like t only two things really that really bother me about his character. Um, like, like, fully, um, one of those is the fact that, well, he can be a little bit, uh, even though he, he generally is a very, very gentle person, sometimes, I feel like in general, a lot of the male characters in Robert Jordan's books, um, have some issues um, with um, fight females. Um, sometimes they're fine, and in, in general, there is pretty equal in different cultures in the Wheel of Time that they're both equally mistreated, but the main trio of main characters, Rand, Matt, and Perrin, uh, they, they can have some issues there, especially Rand, but, but Perrin does also have that, and it does bother me a little bit, um, but yeah, I feel like that's going to be one for all three of those, um, but the second one, and pretty much the last one, is the fact that Sometimes Perrin can be a little bit too passive. Um, and I, I know he's like generally a pretty gentle soul and everything. Um, and it, it would kind of go against him to be um, more battle oriented. Because like Rand um, is generally harsher. Um, you could even say maybe more aggressive. Um, and, and Matt, obviously, with, uh, 
with the memories from people that I believe are probably his his past lives. Um, that's, that's what it's seeming like, is that those are his past lives, lives that he's lived before. Um, it's a possibility. I don't know. For a fact. Um, but... Basically... Matt is more of a, a battle strategist later on. Um, he's kind of childish at times, but he, he is a battle strategist. Though, honestly, sometimes he can be a slight bit of a coward. Uh, but he can also be brave when it's most important. But, pa but Perrin, he's not too aggressive like Rand, and he's not too, you could say, cowardly, but also battle strategist like Matt. Uh, he He's passive most of the time. Doesn't generally like to go into battle. Stuff like that. I mean, he has, he has his axe, but um, he often... It's often a voice that he he's not fond of it, of his axe. Um, he's just a simple blacksmith, as he says. Um, but he is he is Tavaren. Tavaren. Uh, is it Tavaren? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. He is Tavaren. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Uh, but. He is Tavaren, so he he is tied he is tied to Rand um, and to the wheel in general, um, especially because he he's so closely related to to Rand that uh, he is tied there because they're both Tavaren, right? But he's also tied to Matt because all three of them are Tavaren. Uh, Rand most the most powerful of the three, um, but basically. He just can be too passive sometimes, and it, it, it can be good, but it can also, sometimes it kind of bothers me. Um, not nearly as bothersome as, um, as the traveling people. <sighs> oh dear. Those guys bother with me with how passive they are. I mean, like... Do not raise a hand to defend yourself. I mean, in, in certain situations in history, that, that has been a thing, and uh, and that is good. But in, in a book, uh, like, a, like a fiction novel, it can be so annoying that these people that are just so passive that they, that they refuse to defend themselves against other threats. They refuse to pick up a weapon. It just, it doesn't fully make sense. I mean, I guess it kind of does make sense, but like, it just, it, it can be kind of annoying. And I feel like Perrin can be like that sometimes, but also not. But also, yeah. It, it's kind of confusing. I really like his character. Um, I, I do like his gentle nature and everything like that. Um, but, yeah. It just kind of bothers me at times in the, in the right situations I can uh, but yeah I don't really have much else to say in criticism to, to Perrin I really love the character he's my favorite character in Wheel of Time besides maybe Mor Um may she rest in peace uh, but yeah that's about it uh, I will see you guys next time bye